Hey guys, it's Patrick. Um, gonna do a video uh, again. I haven't been around in a while. Uh, I've been my uh, I lost my camera and I had a uh, I had a thing I gotta do. I had to do to I had to get it back. So I'm back in uh, business. So. So, uh, so I'm going to build a whole coil and set it up and so you guys know how to do it. Um, for those who don't, this is one I was working on earlier today. This is like a, it's a like advanced users kind of, you know, system. Um, but I want to start from scratch and. Oh, you know, I'll show you guys how you can do it. Um, so I'm just going to yank these out. So you get, you want to get your wire. I'm going to use, um, 26 gauge. No, this is 28 gauge, uh, wire for making coils. Um, so, I'll show you. I'm gonna use a screwdriver um, to for the uh, circumference of the uh, the coil. Uh, so, you get your end here. Get your end. And you want to take out like any kinks um, that could throw off like your uh, your multi. Uh, so grab your screwdriver. Um, I got another one, and we'll do, you kind of just guess, like, what you want your voltage to come out to, so, um, do, uh, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, and you want to keep them, like, like, tight together and stuff, um, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, Five Mississippi, six Mississippi. So we'll do we'll do six, and you know that should come out to like you know a point. Fuck. Um. So we'll do the same thing. We'll make a dual dually coil. Uh, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four. Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, and now you got your second coil. You'll clip that bad Larry off, and now you can jam these things in there, put them in one hole, and then another hole, and you gotta loosen these up before you do that though. So get those in there, and your second one in there, and you want to, uh, if you want like good flavor, you want to keep them uh, close to the like center, but like out towards the middle, um, and you know, just kind of neaten them up once they're in there. You know, and everything. So you don't want leads touching other uh, 
part uh, parts of the other lead and stuff. Um, so I don't know if you can see this right now, but you you want to kind of neaten that up. It's a little messy right now, so I'm gonna neaten it right up. You should take pliers and you know pinch them together a little bit. Kind of get them closer to the inside, towards the center middle, and then tighten these down. Kind of push all your leads in and keep them from touching, like the outside of the atomizer so you know something like that just keep them off the edges and stuff um, and then you want to put cotton in it so you put the cotton You take like a piece like that and you know give it a twist aroni. Neaten that right up. And you want it like underneath the coil and then like around the side. Some people don't like a lot of cotton. Some people, you know, prefer more well, I prefer a little more cotton. Um, so then you want to juice it up and the first time you want to really juice it up good so I'm going to use this bean town this stuff's yummy uh, in vape it's good I like it you want to get that nice and soaked in the first time And you should have something, you know, that's similar to looking like this. And then you should be ready to vape it. Um, I currently don't have any batteries right now, so um, I can't really show you how this one will vape. But this is a, uh, this is, that's a good one. Thanks.